cosplays. So it is time for another story time video because you guys have been requesting more story time videos. And as I was laying down to try to sleep last night, but I couldn't because of things, but um, I thought up another story that has kind of a connection with my I got fired storytelling and has more to do with my my the assistant manager Diana whom I spoke about in that video and I will link that video down below so you can check it out and kind of get more of a understanding about what's going on here so let's just jump right into it it was a couple weeks after I turned 18 a few weeks and I had gotten a job at Spencer's Gifts and I had two store managers who kind of almost owned the store and I'm I've called them Dan and Susie that are not I never use real names of people without their permission that's just the person I am I don't want anybody to go after anybody and I just don't feel right calling anybody out by their real names without their permission so underneath them was the assistant manager. Her name was Diana, and I think she was like a year or two older than me. That's it. And her and I, I thought, had become really close friends. I mean, we never hung out out of work or anything like that, but we were very, very close at work with each other. And uh, one of the main things you had to do in this store, because of the kind of store it is, and this mall was, there was two malls in my area. Um, within like a 30, 30 minute drive. One of them was, one of them, the one that was closer to my house, which was like 10, 15 minutes away, was more for budget kind of living. I, I, people used to call it the poor mall because, you know, people who couldn't afford that much went to that mall. I went there all the time. I went to this other one all the time, the one that my father worked at where I was working at in Spencer's and this was more of known as the more expensive and preppy preppier kind of mall where people can afford a lot more. So one of the main things you had to do in this store, especially me, um, I was sales supervisor in the store and there were two other cashiers and that's all that the only people that worked there. And one of the main things you had to do in the store was kick out the preppy emo kids who would just stand at the back of the store and not buy anything they would just chill and drink their coffees or whatever and hang out and laugh and just they wouldn't buy anything they would just stand there and so it was kind of my job and a couple other you know everybody's job really there to kick out the preppy emo kids and sometimes there were not emo they were just preppy but sometimes you'd be like hey if you're not gonna buy anything you have to leave the store if you want to stay in the store you have to purchase something and then you're gonna have to leave this if you want to have chats and hang out do that outside of the store but just don't do it in the store where there's customers who want to be purchasing stuff so one night um now this girl Diana who was the friend I'm talking about again not her real name um, was doted upon by the store managers Di uh, Suze, Susie and Dan and also had a really good friend in the mall who was a security guard and so one of the times we there was three people two girls one guy they're teenagers and they were very 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 preppy and like had like Chanel bags and like really expensive. You can tell that they were not, that they were very well off. And she asked me to go and do what I had to do. And I said, listen, you know, and I gave them the thing and they were like, okay, we're, you know, we're gonna look around for a minute and leave. And I said, okay, fine. So they leave the store and I, I don't know if you guys, whoever works in retail, you know how you have to, towards the end of the day, just put things back and set things up a certain way and keep things neat and clean and everything like that to make keep the store looking nice. So I was doing that and I noticed a purse, a very expensive looking purse. And it had not been there before these three teens had come into the store. 
because I was working at that part of the station and I did not see it there. So I brought it to Diana's attention and I'm like, look, there's, I think one of the girls who just left, left accidentally left their person here. And I gave it to her and I was thought, and she said, all right, I'm gonna put it behind the counter. I was like, okay, great. Because I thought that that meant that she's gonna put it behind the counter in case the girl comes back so we can hand it back to her. So she starts, she actually unzips it and starts looking through it. And I'm thinking at this point, like that's really <laughs> not appropriate to do, but um, she was taking out a digital camera. This was in 2006. So she was taking out a really expensive digital camera. She took out her wallet. She took the money from the wallet. And she's like, I want the purse and the money. You can have the digital camera since I know you love taking photographs and I know you love, like you're a photographer and I know that, you know, you like video stuff. And I was like, um, no. <laughs> I was like, I am not stealing something, especially of that much value from anybody. And another thing working in this store, right across, literally, this was our store, then across what there was an escalator and across here was Hot Topic. And our two stores, since they're very similar, were at war. And as we, me and Diana were having this discussion and I was kind of giggling about it, but I was like, no, we can't do this, dude. We're not, that's crazy. And one of the workers from Hot Topic, and this was a very rare thing to do because we, it was like war, we were at war and they came in and they purchased something. And then the girl comes back with her friends and says, listen, I've looked in every single store in this mall um, that I've been to looking for my purse. I accidentally left it somewhere. Have you guys seen it? And Diana immediately says, no, we haven't seen it. Sorry. Um, and she's like, but you could take a look around. And she's like, okay, great. And she took a look around. She said she didn't find it. And she was like, all right, I'm going to go to Hot Topic because I also went there. That's my last stop. Now the girl who worked at Hot Topic, who was in our store at the time, had told her, yeah, those girls from Spencer's stole your bag and they're planning on taking all of your money and your everything. So Diana locks the purse in our safe where we keep all of the money. She, keep, she locks it inside there. And um, so the girl comes back and she comes back with an attitude, rightfully so, if somebody had told me that somebody had stolen my things. Um, and I think there was like well over $300 in there. And she comes back and she says, I just came back from Hot Topic. They told me that they heard you guys talking about how you stole my purse. And Diane, I said nothing the entire time. I was just standing there just kind of like, this isn't cool this is not my business I'm not the one trying to do anything wrong and she was like oh the and she explained to her the people at Hot Topic are just saying that because we're at war with them and they're you know our enemy store and we did not touch your things I swear to God we have not seen your purse she's and she ever said went to me and said blaze go look around the store with her to try to help her find her purse and I knew that it was pointless but I was like all right fine I'll do it so I went around the store looking and her and her friends started getting really nasty with me. And I said, listen, this isn't my problem. I, I don't see your purse anywhere because I didn't want to say that Diana took it because I didn't want to get her fired because I, like I said, I liked her and I thought we were friends. So she says, all right, but I'm going to come in. I'm coming right back. I have to go get someone. So she goes and she gets her father who comes in screaming at us, saying, I know you stole my daughter's purse. We just want her purse back. He said, you can actually keep the purse. We just want everything else that's in it because she has important stuff in that. She has her ID, her insurance card. She has her money. She has her driver's license. You know, he's like, we have, he's like, you guys can have the purse if you want, if you're gonna be such horrible people to do that to a little girl. He's like, and he, he was making good, he was being, even though he was very, uh, he had every right to be angry because 
Diana had been had done a really shitty thing and I would have been reacting the same exact way so I put no blame on this girl or her father so then the father says I'm gonna go and get security and Diana goes fine go and get security she's like the head of security I don't remember what his name is let's call him Patrick and she's like, go ahead to the head of security. His name is Patrick. He will come in here and tell you that we are not the kind of people who would do something like this. And he says, that's what, exactly what I'm gonna go do. I'll be right back. And he told his daughter not to leave the store and to not let us out of her sight. But then the girl was like, I don't wanna be in here. What if they hurt me, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, girl, we're not gonna hurt you. I'm, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that at all. So she walks out with her dad and they go to get the security guard. And as that's happening, Diana says, she opens the safe, takes out the purse and says, go put this somewhere, hide it behind a few items on the shelf in the back. And I'm like, why? She's like, because when they come back, they're gonna see she left it there and she just couldn't see it. I was like, fine. I just wanted this whole ordeal to be done. I didn't want to go to jail for this because if the security guard did demand us to open up the safe, which he, he did, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be like a co-conspirator in this. And I don't want to go to jail for something that wasn't even my idea that I wanted nothing to do with. So I take the purse, I go to the back and put it behind like a couple of backpacks or bags something of that sort so the girl and her father come back with Patrick and her him and Diana are he's like hi Diana what's the problem the guy's been talking to me he's like I know you're not this kind of person I know we're you're cool and everything like that but can I see you're safe and she opens it up and she's all smiles and she's like hi Patrick hi and she's like this is just such a burden and that this is such bullshit because hot topic is that our employees are trying to get us in trouble and we would never do anything like this and he's like I know sweetheart I know you would never do anything like this but I have to check for a procedure and everything and the father is really angry at the way that and I would I like I said I put no blame on the girl or her father because I'd be frustrated as hell too so I just she I told her to go look around the store one more time and she's like all right only if you come with me and I said fine I'll come with you so I go and I pretend and I go oh look is this yours and she's like oh my god I feel so stupid right now um and I'm like you don't have to feel stupid it was a mistake I mistakes happen I've done similar things like this before it's not your fault or anything like that she's like no no I feel so horrible right now I got you know other people involved I got security involved I had my dad yelling at you I feel so bad she's like do you want like a little bit of money for finding it I'm like no no I don't want any of your money I'm happy you found it you know it's it's over and so she goes up front she goes daddy daddy this the girl helped me find my purse you know it was a mistake I left it behind some backpacks that I think I may have been looking at or that one of her other friends had been looking at and she's like she was very helpful she was very sweet and she found it and the guy was like oh the dad was like oh my god I am so so sorry girls he's like I I had a temper with you and I'm there sitting no no I would be having the same reaction if I thought somebody had stolen my child's things or if somebody had stolen my things I would have the same reaction stop feeling bad stop saying you're sorry <laughs> and Diana is just like well we told you so and you maybe you shouldn't listen to everybody because those people are our haters and they don't like us so of course they're gonna try to get us in trouble and we told you so and she kind of had that attitude about her and the father actually offered her fifty dollars to you know to settle everything he's like since you found the purse and I put you through all this trouble and everything and she took it she took the $50 for finding a purse that she stole that had well over a $300 in it that she was ready to steal herself I was absolutely speechless I did not know what to say I didn't say anything to her they all left 
and she was like, oh my God, that was so close. That was so close. We could have gone to jail and she was laughing about it. I was like, yeah, we could have gone to jail. And she's like, um, do you want $20 out of this for helping me out? I'm like, no, I don't want any part of this. I never wanted any part of this. The only thing I wanted to do when I found her purse was give it back to her in the first place. But you know, <laughs> and and like I said in my I Got Fired video, she was one of the people who conspired to help me get fired, like, unethically. I don't know if they fired me illegally, but they unethically fired me. And I, again, I'll link that video down below. So, she was a sketchy person from start to finish of me knowing her. So, this is the time that I almost got arrested and could have gone to jail for a friend, you know, um, and that wouldn't have been the first time, but a friend, I should say, <laughs> in quotations. Um, it was a terrible ordeal and something that was just so stupid and something that I wanted no part of, but she put me in the middle of it. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys like my story time videos and you want me to keep doing them, give me a thumbs up to let me know or comment down below. If you'd be so kind to go over here and click on my face or go further down below and hit that button that says subscribe and subscribe right now because I always have beauty related contests, giveaways, and raffles all free all of the time. I currently have one going on that is Amaze Balls. So I will link that video down below as well so you can go and check it out if you have not already because is it my 400 subscriber giveaway and it's badass and my mother is just going insane because she wants to do a random pop-up giveaway so she's gonna be doing that either today tomorrow next day something like that somewhere somewhere within the next three days we're gonna be getting that out so um again I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Unless they're nasty or rude, you'll be reported, as always. Um, if something like this has ever happened to you, let me know down in the comments. What's the worst thing that's happened to you at your job? You know, um, unless it's really, really serious and you don't want to talk about it pro publicly, then I understand. So don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. And until next time, stay wicked. Later, Blazers.